Most intros that you see on YouTube will have some kind of camera shake, which is this kind of movement where the camera mo moves around like it's being held or something cool like that. I got a comment asking me about this. Um, hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender once again. Um, and really quickly, this is a, an effect I do for almost every single intro I do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this triangle up and split our window into two. Maybe scroll that down a little bit. And we're going to change this bottom box to the graph editor. Um, and what we're going to do here is with our camera selected, as you can tell our camera is selected, um, we're going to hit I. We're going we'll to go to the first frame, hit I in our uh, 3D view space. And we're going to hit uh, rotation, we're gonna hit location and then I and then rotation. So we have both of those separately. So now we can expand both of those. You see, we have the X location, Y and Z location, and the X, Y, and Z for other rotations as well. So this means our camera has a bunch of different keyframes. What we're gonna do, hit this plus over on the side, and we're gonna go to modifiers. Modifiers with the X location, we're gonna hit add modifier of noise. Um, and now this might be a little uh, a little tough to watch, so I'll try and do it quickly. <laughs> but it's gonna it's gonna jiggle around really, 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 really fast. This is what it, this is what we get when we do this effect. Um, but that's just like way too much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess around with this. We're gonna turn this to like let's say a hundred. Um, and this is pretty much how far the camera is gonna go back and forth on the x and on the x axis. So pretty much that's what this is, um, and how that's how fast it's gonna move. This one down here, this is as far as, as the movement's going to go. So you can see this line just got much, much deeper, and it went down much further, as you can see. So this is going to go way over to the side over here because this is on 5. So we're going we're gonna to put this on, like, on 1 because we don't want it to go that far over. We're going to change this from 1,000 to maybe 50. Yeah, 50 looks pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to go with the Y location now. We're going to add in a uh, noise as well. And we're going to change this as well to 50. Leave that on 1. And we're going to change this value down here. This value make, scrubs the, the timeline to make it so that it's a random different thing. Because you don't want it to be too generic every single time. So we're just going to drag that to some random number and leave it. Um, something like that. Just so it's not uh, on the same value. Once again, with the Z location, we're going to go noise. And we're going to change that to 50. We're going to leave that on 1, and we're just going to drag that to some random number, whatever it may be. Uh, sometimes you might want to take a look at that because it might go down a bit a bit too far or, or whatever. Um, but that looks pretty good right there, 1,000-something. And rotation, we'll do the same thing, so noise, uh, 50. Oop. And we'll change. To see, this rotation 1 goes a lot longer, a lot more. So we're going to go to like 0.2, maybe 0.1. That might still even be too much. But like I said, these these values are all, you can all mess with these. So if you don't want it to move as much, you can always go with lower values for the second box. You can put this in like 0.5 or something, uh, oh, point, point 0.1 or something. And then we'll go and change all of these to like 0.5 for the locations. And then you can make it not move around as much um, as you see it moving right now. And this 50 up here as well, change that to like 10 and we'll change all these to 10. And now we're getting that kind of that camera shake with the same thing. More the more the better. It starts to look more realistic. We'll go with the point 0.1 for that as well. And we'll drag that to some random number. And the same thing for the z-axis. Same thing. 10.1 random number. Um, and like I said, the the, the more and more uh, you want this, of course, you can you can lower these numbers so like uh, the higher this number would be, the, the slower it moves, so like 100 for all of the rotations. That'll make the entire thing move slower, which of course will make it not as jerky. And like I said, I use this, I use this effect for every single intro that I do, you know. So, I mean, it's just, it's, it's one of those things where it just makes, it makes things look better, especially if you're doing intros. Um, but that is pretty much it. Like I said, you modify it, mess around with these to make this go faster or slower. You can make it go super fast as well. Like maybe it's a dubstep intro. I don't know what you're doing. But whatever you're doing, I hope this helped. I hope you learned something new today. I hope I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, <laughs> bye.